Well, the company started in 1970 as a local uh, foreign joint venture between my father and the founder president of Claron Japan. Uh, and basically, it is their first offshore plan for Clarion. And those days, uh, I think it was supposed to be uh, low-cost assembly centers, you know, production centers so that you can get products out. But over the years, I think, given the changes of the product from just being, I think, we started with an 8-track and move on to cassettes and move on to CD. The, base, the infotainment, or what shall I say, the in-vehicle infotainment that you have today that we're, we're, we are developing here for the market to address the market tomorrow are basically computer-based. They're basically a computer, an automotive computer that will allow the user to be connected to everything, mm -hmm. uh, basically by making most function uh, human-centric. So even inside your car, you can reach anything that you own mm -hmm. uh, across the web. So uh, it, 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 it basically allows you to do what you can do at home, yeah. in your office, in the car today. Okay. Well, come a long way from mm -hmm. manufacturing. Uh. Yes, yes. Uh, when we did the uh, technology launch for the Android-based uh, infotainment system, basically what you have now is a car stereo that is Android-based that will allow you to work like your cell phone. On top of that, given the new technology that was put into there, you have got uh, the audio-visual navigation capability and beyond. By the word, what I mean by beyond is basically you are connected to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if your cell phone is connected to your car stereo or we put in a telematics unit, you're 24-7 connected to the world. It's, it's like sitting in your home and having your hub running full time. And that is available now and that is already being done in an automotive application so that it is automotively safe, I would say, yeah. Yeah, to, be, to be operated that way. Okay. And that is basically the challenge that we are providing here for our engineer to do on behalf of Japan. Okay, now let me just ask you about the relationship with Crest. What do you think of what Crest is doing and how you are working together with them? And where do you see the future of this relationship going? Crest is actually very vital in the way we are looking uh, towards the next five to ten years of our operation because as you can see the changes has happened oh, on the cast area front from being a fully mechanical unit, uh, even the radio is on wire, you know, yes. wound, and today everything is in software. So in order for, for the transformation to take place, the service industries has to come in to play a role. So given the fact that we do have a lot of uh, software houses in Malaysia or IT-based company, more and more they will begin to play a part in the car and especially the infotainment system. So working with Crest, we can then publicize the fact that actually the industry has moved on and has reached a juncture whereby everyone can participate out of Malaysia. And with Crest, introduces all these new uh, service uh, companies that are available indirectly but not known yet to us so that we can work with them to create uh, parcels inside the, the offering to the customers of the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. very good.